All right, we are here at La Puente High School with the Criminal Justice Podcast team. Well, let me have your name and grade. My name is Diana and I'm in 12th grade. My name is Jesse Centeno and I'm in 12th grade. My name is Brian Praz and I'm in 12th grade. My name is Suze Castro and I'm in 12th grade. All right, all right, well team, tell me a little bit about where did you come up with this idea to do a podcast and a podcast on crime? So tell me a little bit about that. So basically, when the pandemic was happening, podcasts became a really big thing on social media since everyone was locked at home. So in March of last year, I brought it up to my teacher and my friends. I told them, I was like, it'd be so cool if we started a podcast at our school. Like, I think that'd be a really cool idea. And they were on board, and so was Ms. Ramirez. And so we decided to um, connect it to our pathway, which is dispatch dispatching. Um, so we decided to talk about crime stories. All right, tell me about your first podcast. So we'll kind of start here. So tell me what was your first podcast and what was one challenge you faced? Uh, so our first podcast was on the Black Dahlia. And I say a, a, um, like a challenge that we overcame was just like, like overall just planning it out and just, cause we were nervous obviously, it was our first episode, just, right. so just yeah, right. planning it out. What else was a bit of a challenge for this? A bit of a challenge would probably be the time management. A lot of time that needed to be put in it that we didn't have a lot because we're so involved into the school, like extracurricular activities or like sports. So in just fact, like, you had to do it during a little bit of during your class yeah, time. We had to sacrifice our class time in order to put out episodes. All right, all right. Any other challenge you face? Any tech issues, things like that? I would say the fact that it's podcasting it's a whole different world none of us know how to do any of this mm -hmm. so it was first time for everything very good so tell me a little bit about that there was a lot of learning that uh, went involved because it's not just re hitting record so tell me about the back the steps you take to create a podcast so what we would do is we would first kind of talk it out to see what topic we want we were interested in and then we would go ahead and look at documentaries on it so we can kind of get an idea of the case and stuff like that and then we would do research on it. So look at all the details, like for example, if it was a murder case, like how did, the, how did that person um, pass and stuff like that. The, mm -hmm. the details into the person's mind, the, the person that committed the murder. And then after that, we would go straight into recording. We would record in the Dream Center, which is a new building here at La Puente High School. Mm -hmm. um, and then, yeah, we would edit. Editing was a very extensive process. It took a lot of hours um, because each episode is 15 to 20 minutes, but we would have to cut in every single little laugh and mm -hmm. um, what we would like, <laughs> yeah, stumble on our words. So, and then finally we would just post it, which again, to, also took a long time. I don't know if you guys know, but on YouTube, it takes a while for the video to upload, mm -hmm. but that was basically our process. So you were all in charge of the outlines, script making, researching, up, well, recording with all the laughs and cutting those out, yes. and then uploading and marketing. Tell me a little bit about your marketing process. You all are also in a different pathway, and how did that help? So our marketing process would be actually helped by um, an administrator, uh, Mr. Zavala. He would um, have promo videos that he'd record of us doing for like each episode. So each episode at the end, we record something that was tied into the case, and he would post it on the alumni page on Instagram, and then it would go out to everyone, everyone would see it. And then we had our own YouTube channel that we created and we uploaded there with our own Instagram account that we promoted and we had um, like a link to it and mm -hmm. we posted it, we shared it, we were like, come watch it and yeah. That's pretty amazing. And you use things like Canva and you used, again, other editing tools. Um, you said also uh, that you were part of the web design pathway. Yes, so we actually had um, another person, Evel. Mm -hmm. She would help us make the actual logo for our podcast. Mm -hmm. So we have a web design course here. It's mm -hmm. a three-way pathway. And we have to take web design and actually helped a lot with making. All logo. right. Well, what tips would you give us since you're all seniors leaving here, leaving this legacy behind, maybe to other schools? students, maybe even younger students. So as I mentioned, uh, Los Altos Elementary students won a history day for doing a podcast. Do you think students should get into podcasting and getting their voices out there? What tips would you give them if they were interested in doing something like that? Absolutely. I would just say go for it. I feel like we just went, for, I mean, this is our last year, so we just decided that it was just something that we had to do because it was different and um, it was very exciting for us. So to anyone, I would just recommend to go for it. But also think about time management. Think about planning it out very well. If you can, buy really good products, um, like really good microphones and cameras to get high quality videos. But I would say go for it. Go for it. Any other tips? 
Did you guys all have fun? Oh, yes. yes. Yeah. Yeah. Very. And Very fun. what happened in the process of making all this? It's been a year long journey for all you. I know. We were saying we create like close bonds. Like yeah. we were never close friends like this. Never. <laughs> we were stuck together for all, all year. Yeah. All year. <laughs> like we had something to talk about. So just the fact that we had that, that memory together, we were just able to just talk about that and just have memories. And Very nice. About it. And it's good to hear that you had support from the Dream Center and their staff and from your principal here and the teachers and your staff. So it's a whole community that came yeah, along. Absolutely. Yeah. Good luck to you as you leave high school and I'm sure you're going to do great things. So thank you so much for this interview. Thank right. you. Thank you. <laughs>